Let's go. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. All right. Let's rock and roll. Hello, Pisces. Rambling Mike here. I'm going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Pisces. Appreciate your time, your views, your like. What's going on around here, man? What is this? This is, this is the Knight of Swords just jumped out. Well, this could be somebody busting a move in your direction. Maybe they got air in their chart. We're gonna we're gonna play with the true black. I'm gonna freestyle with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a face card. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anyway, Pisces, if you've ever blessed me, thank you so very very much. Appreciate it all. Very kind of you, my friends. Let's play some tarot. We're gonna freestyle uh, with the true black. Tonight, going to play with love cards, a little bit different, past, present, near future energy. And then I'm going to do the same with the true black. And and what, what I find, you know, uh, we're throwing a, a clarification, and I'm going to with the Terra Illuminati. Let's go. Let's go. we got a Knight of Swords that just showed up as an overall. We'll call it an overall. It jumped. It jumped from the true black. Let me hold it up there again. It's a, it's a brash energy. Um, Mikey calls it the dragon slayer. You know, it's somebody come in, they, they got a plan. And it's, uh, it's, it's safe enough to say with this card as an overall, their plan would be, you know, Pisces. You know, I got something to say. They, 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 they look dashing right there, you know. Um, let's go. They got a flower in their hand, too, just saying. Let's see what the love card says. It's a very interesting overall. Somebody's pretty interested in you, Pisces. And uh, they're getting on the lightning pony. They're getting on the lightning pony. Let's go. Past, past, past for Pisces. Pisces. Getting to know each other. Getting to know each other. That's an interesting card in the past. Hmm. Getting to know each other. So this could be this could be somebody that you know. This could be somebody that you let, let's pull another card in the now. Yeah. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Well, and staying optimistic about your love life now. Why would staying optimistic about your love life? Show up, right? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm. Pisces. Staying optimistic about your love life. I like that. You got a face card up there. That's about somebody somebody coming into your world. Somebody maybe that you got to know in the past. Something happened right here possibly with staying optimistic. Ah, these are nice cards. Honeymoon in the near future, Pisces. It says enjoy the bliss of time together. Now that enjoy the bliss of time together for me, you know, this tells me that there may have been some kind of spat. And and I don't know how, you know, because there, there was a staying optimistic in the middle of this. And then we got... The bliss card, which means if you two hang out again, don't be arguing. Okay? So it says to me, because um, this is kind of an aggressive energy. It's fast moving. It's somebody coming in here. It's somebody that you may have got to know at one time, but staying optimistic, it may have, it may have floundered here for a minute. 
A honeymoon. Here they come. Here comes the love boat. It's one of my favorite cards. Yeah. And this can talk about six swords too. A lot of readers put six swords with that. I do. That's a card about maybe coming out of some kind of choppy water. Somebody wants to, somebody wants uh, the journey to to smooth out between you two. That's what I'm getting out of these cards right here. It is a uh, Venus retrograde and Lion's Gate right now as I pull these cards. So, staying optimistic about your love life could be somebody that you got. Yeah, the lovers. The lovers. That's a, that's a Gemini major arcana. I just have to point out that these lovers have their backs to each other right here. Even though the sun seems to be shining on them. Just saying. Just saying, because we got to stay optimistic about your love life. Got the lovers that showed up. Let's go. Give me some. Give me some. Pisces. Oh, Seven of Cups. Oh, seven of Cups may have got involved in this story. All right? That means somebody probably had a lot of options. You know, maybe their house got set on fire. You know, all those damn options. How many of you know those options? Those cups are full of ghouls and goblins and snakes and ghosters and coasters. And there's only there's only one there. Yeah. Because that's why we've been staying optimistic. You know, I kind of feel that this is the same energy. Um, you know, this, this is about uh, somebody having a lot of options, strong connection with you, and you just loving yourself. This is a beautiful card right here about um, serving the gods, staying optimistic about your love life. You know, if somebody wants to go on, go on with yourself. You could say that somebody may have been just a little confused. Confused. So, give me some cards right here. Oh, yeah, you may have let it go. It's right there. It's eight cups. It's eight cups. You know, and that's about letting a situation go because it's not emotionally fulfilling, even though the lover's card is here. And it's staying optimistic about your love life. Anyway, you got some kind of lover coming in here for you. Nine swords just showed up, man. Nine swords. Um, this is a challenging love story right here. You know, it's got the bunny with the with the doggone sword through it. And those are rose petals coming out of that. Bunny. So we got some. We got we got a little we got a little challenge going on around here to say the very least. I want one more. One more. Because this is a beautiful energy coming in here for you. The honeymoon. The honeymoon card. It's the old knight of swords. Huh? Knight of Swords, and and this could be this could this this see because this is air, so I'm connecting this Nine Swords to the Dragon Slayer right there, the Knight of Swords, right? That's sleepless nights and 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 the Woodas and the Kudas and the Shudas because I got Pisces, my little Pisces, I see you right there. And you let a situation go because it was no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. It caused this person, you know, to uh, fall on their sword. <laughs> oh, my God, that sword. It's all this air energy, man. All this air energy, Pisces. Ooh, that sword looked like it was hot, boy. Could be about some new communication. Could be, huh? 
Ace of Swords. I don't know if you'll pick up the phone. <laughs> we maybe get on the love boat right here. It's an Ace of Swords. It's that same sword. You know, it's about epiphanies, awakening, enlightenment, a uh, greater understanding. Oh man, it's this. It's this night. Oh, you know what came out after that, huh? Five pins. Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> five pins, right? That's about change. Yeah, I thought somebody missing my Pisces. This Pisces stand up. I don't know. I don't know. That Ace of Swords is pretty hot, man. I, I wish them the best. Is that why I said, you know, it says enjoy the bliss of time to go? Don't be arguing. <laughs> Don't be arguing. You know. Anyway, because this is a lover's energy right here. Huh? It's a lover's energy. <laughs> hey, hey, here we go, man. Here we go. This is a king of wands just, just showed up around here. Huh? Face card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, uh, excuse me, Pisces. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 can we can we talk? <laughs> it's right here. Man. Uh, look at all that fire, man. Oh, Lordy. They may have fire in their chart. They may have air in their chart. A little bit of water on here, too. All right, man. Let's pull some on this honeymoon card right here. Some on the honeymoon card. We got the hottie toddy. We got the hottie toddy showing up around here, Pisces. Yeah, yeah, the hottie toddy. Looks like they fell on their own sword out there. Yeah, it's a rough world out there. Looks like uh, they realized. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pisces left me out in the cold. <laughs> oh my God. Here we go. New energy coming in here for you. The dragon said, oh, damn it. You see that, man? Eight ones. Oh, look at, look at all the communication. Oh, my God, Pisces. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Telephone is ringing. Yeah, Lord. Woo, you got me on the run. <laughs> hey, I'm driving in my car now. Yeah. Anticipate and fun. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Give me a card right here. One more, one more on the honeymoon. Got eight wands. Wouldn't hammer down on all that. Lord, I, Lord, I pick up the phone, Pisces. Oh, it's the old emperor right there. Probably some kind of old divine masculine figuring themselves out. Looks like they fell on their sword. Male or female. Looks like they fell on their sword. All right. Give me a couple cards right here on this old emperor that showed up at eight wands. Coming in on the love boat. Excuse, excuse, excuse me, Pisces. Uh, can, can we talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, uh, owie. I couldn't sleep at all last night. That's what it says to me. Couple cards right here on the old dragon slayer. They're gonna make sure ain't no dragons got they Pisces. <laughs> Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Here we go, here we go, man. What we got right there? Oh, three cups, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Remember the good old days when we used to have fun. <laughs> three cups. How many of you know that's a reconciliation attempt? Come on, Pisces. We can go up the stairwell right up here to a new level. New level. A new level. Come on. We can be happy. <laughs> Come on, man. Because I couldn't sleep at all last night. <laughs> here we go, man. Pisces. Oh, wow. Well, this could indicate, you know, that an old cycle has ended here and a new cycle has begun. It's the world card. And another Ace of Swords, man. Another Ace of Swords. Somebody, you know, want to make sure they come in with clarity and truth and integrity. Anyway. That's a beautiful reconciliation energy I'm looking at. 
if, if, if you if you're not interested, don't pick up the phone because they're gonna be calling. Give me a card right here. Give me a card right here. Pisces. Pisces. Well, it's a high priestess. Pisces. Uh-huh. Keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. I don't know. Maybe somebody got tuned in right here. <laughs> There's a rebirth energy here. It's all over this spread. Anyway, follow your intuition. Psychic abilities. You two may have telepathy with each other too. You know, just saying. It's a rebirth energy here. Scorpio again. Traditionally, Gabriel blowing the horn. Blowing the horn. For Pisces, so moon rising Venus. Pisces, enjoy the journey. <laughs> it says, don't fight. <laughs> anyway, I love you, Pisces. Do what's best for you. If you made it to this point in the bid, thank you very much. Very kind of you. Hit that like for me if you would on the way out the door. I'll pull some cards for you in a few short days. Love and light. Enjoy the journey. Bye for now. All right. All right. A lot of aces. Ace of swords, man. Phew. I'll give, I wish them the best. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, somebody fell on this sword out there, man.